Been following breaking news at the state house, the Iowa legislature went into session really early this morning, taking up debate on the bill on youth employment. The vote happened over an hour ago. Now let's go live to Griffin Wright, who's at the state house with what this means for the child labor laws in the state. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Justin and Kaylin. So just hours ago, the bill passed. Uh, the vote was 32 to 17. All the Democrats voted against the bill along with two Republicans. Now that vote or that bill is going to be heading towards the House. Now once at the House, uh, they will examine the bill, which says uh, it will allow 14 year olds to work six hour night shifts. It'll allow 15 year olds to work in plants on assembly lines, moving items up to 50 pounds and allows 16 and 17 year olds to to serve alcohol. Many Democrats say this can be dangerous for kids by putting them in risky jobs. Republicans say that's not true and it's just giving them more opportunities to earn money. Here's what was said on the debate floor. I wouldn't want my granddaughter serving alcohol or getting an exception to do hazardous work in the name of workplace learning. A workplace accident can happen in the blink of an eye. It takes mere seconds for a red iron beam to fall. Iowans should not be putting our kids, and they are kids, in dangerous situations. With this bill, we are strengthening and providing protections to our youth. We are not forcing them into slave labor. We are not selling our children. We're not even requiring them to work. So 14 is still the youngest age that a child can work in Iowa. It's just with this bill, uh, children would be allowed to work in more industries and more types of jobs at 14, 15, uh, 16 and 17. So uh, if it goes to the house and passes the house as is, that would mean more children or more 14, 15, 16, 17 year old children would be able to work in more types of jobs. Uh, but we'll just have to see as it goes to the house for debate. Yeah, plenty of passion all around on both sides for this issue. It won't be dying down anytime soon. Like you said, now moving on to the House. Griffin, thank you for breaking that all down for us. Reporting live from the State House, Griffin Wright.